It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Liverpool. Well, I'm so excited for everybody, the fans, everybody connected to both clubs. But it's the players I'm so excited for. I've never actually played in a Champions League final, but played in other finals. I know what they're feeling. We can see the nerves already starting to jangle. How do you cope with those nerves, Derek? How do you settle yourself down before what's going to become probably the biggest game of your career? Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts with Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. And this is it. The final of the UEFA Champions League. It's where everyone wants to be. Only two sides can accomplish that feat. And Lee, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight. Well, it is. It's the big part here. It will be after the game. But as players, it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away. And that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room, but also the coach. Look around your team, see the calm ones, have a word with them, get them to pass the message on. Stick to the game plan, go out and win the game. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Marquinhos. Verratti now. Neymar. And here's Vinaldo. Mbappe Verratti now not showing good patience Messi not a great pass well who would be a defender when the responsibility is one of trying to shackle Neymar well basically you've got to keep him out of the box because he's got such a brilliant finishing ability that you give him half a yard he will score so keep him as far away from your goal as possible nicely blocked by Ramos Sergio Ramos under pressure here beautifully timed Wijnaldum here is Juan Bernat plenty of running room in the wide position an effective cross aimed at the back post not able to put it behind for what will be a corner here played into the center of the box well it has come to nothing Hakimi Wijnaldum now Hakimi Crossing possibilities. No nonsense clearance. Thiago. Virgil van Dijk. Alexander Arnold. Henderson has it. Fabinho. Henderson. It's with Roberto Firmino. Over the top, into the stride of Sadio Mane. Firmino. Now Mane. Firmino. Not at all problematic for the goalkeeper. Neymar.
Wijnaldum. Lost possession, Wijnaldum. Joe Gomez. Henderson. Excellent ball over the top. That is a tackle and a half. And PSG using width to good effect. Intercepting it intelligently. Mane. Ramos completely on top of the situation. Messi. Mbappe. It comes to absolutely nothing. Can he put them in front? The goal then for Paris Saint-Germain, the first one of this Champions League final. Oh, they've got the noses in front. Can they stay there? Now the other team are playing catch-up. Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when it comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. What a finish. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Mane. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Marquinhos. Verratti now. Half time then here in the English capital. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Roberto Firmino. That's a decent run from Marco Verratti. And you need your defender to take charge. Can they hit on the break? Andrew Robertson. Sadio Mane now. And back with Robertson. Mane. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And now, passing it through. Kylian Mbappe, does he mean business? And it's there for him. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. It's going their way. 2-0. Well, PSG comfortable all over the park with this possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. This is Thiago. Here's Salah. Well, no problems defensively. Henderson. Firmino. Robertson. And lining it up. Corona of the blue vehicle, registration BG0. Neymar. D0 M. Well, no way through. Henderson. Thank you. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Angel Di Maria has lost the ball. Virgil van Dijk. Oh, 
Well, no danger now. And that. Liverpool have the ball once more. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Henderson. Andrew Robertson. Here is Thiago. Thiago. Another decent position for Liverpool to be in. A significant block by Ramos. Corner kick played in. It hasn't come to very much. Alexander Arnold using his physical strength to shield it. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely ball into the box. But I have to say, after that, the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory. Near post, left exposed, and he's punished. So there we have it, 2-1. Number 10, Savio Mane. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Paredes. And a throw in forthcoming. Di Maria. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Alexander Arnold. Full time. Parisian pride shines through. PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, almost no words are needed. You just look down at the celebrations, the relief after the final whistle. Commiserations to the other players, but it's a celebration time now. All that sacrifice and commitment and desire to win a trophy, and they've won the biggest one. Absolutely brilliant. This is what Paris Saint-Germain have been targeting for a good number of years. It's official now, they are PSG, the best in Europe League. Well, breathe it in, breathe these moments in. How many times you get the chance to stand on a podium, let alone pick that trophy up. Deep breaths from the captain just before he actually puts his hand on this famous trophy. The cup with the big ears, as they sometimes call it, and it's the property now for this year at any rate of PSG. Well, they'll be celebrating long into the night with their friends and family, and quite rightly so. It'll be a late night, Derek, I'm sure.